Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add custom fonts to Webflow. In this case we're going to use Google Fonts, I'm going to show you how to pull them in and add them to your design so you can use them. Let's go. Okay, so I've added a heading and the fonts that are built in to Webflow are pretty limited, the kind of generic ones for the internet. If you want to add a font, hey look, you can add font. Click on it, opens up a separate tab. Okay, you've gone into your you know Dance Portfolio site and remember general, we've been in there. Mm, we go to this one that says fonts, okay, which takes you directly to there. So both are open. So we're not gonna cover Adobe fonts. They're pretty complicated. There's API keys, and then you might have to get your client to license the font and pay for it, even though you might've picked it from your Adobe Creative Cloud. Yeah, it's a messy one. Google app, Webflow has some good documentation on it. We're gonna go with the easy one and the one that people do the most. Google Fonts. So you find your font on fonts.google.com. There is amazing fonts to use. You can pick them, download them, use them on your machine. Okay, use them in your Figma design or your XD design. And then eventually though, you need to bring them into your project. Okay, so you bring them in separately from like your desktop. Okay, so even though you've got it in Figma or XD, it doesn't mean it's gonna be in your Webflow project. We need to kind of like jam it in there. To do it, I'm gonna figure out what font I'm using. I'm using Public Sans. It's a good, nice Helvetica wannabe. I like it. Um, so let's go into Webflow. We clicked on the add fonts, and all we need to do is say, well, this is easy. Should have just started with this. What was it called? Public Sans. Okay, Public Sans. This is the big part. Like uh, these variants, the, the problem with adding all of these variants, you're like, oh, just take them all. Woohoo! Problem with it is that it is down to site speed. Okay, if you install all of these fonts on your Webflow project, okay, it will take a lot longer for your website to load. And if your website takes a lot longer to load, Google doesn't like it. They punish you in the in the search rankings. They want sites that are good, easily accessible, and load fast. And don't take forever, especially on mobile. So just be careful. The main ones are 400, which is regular. 700, 900. If you from Fontland. That's light, that's regular, that's bold, that's extra bold, okay? You might decide you need all those, okay? Or you might decide I don't need the light, I need uh, a regular but a regular italic, which is that one there, okay, to use on my project. You can turn these on and off at the end, okay? We will look at it later on when we look at SEO, search engine optimization, but you can turn them all on for the moment, okay, and come and turn the ones you don't off later on. Does that make sense? Um, I can kind of tell from my design. I know that in here I've used... What have I used? I've used 400 there. I've used, how do I use this one? It doesn't tell me. <laughs> you are 400. What am I in? I'm in inspect. Don't be in inspect. Be in design. There you go, Dan. So I've got regular, which is 400. And this one here, extra bold, which is 900. I know there's parts of this that are going to be the light version. So there you go. I kind of already know. That, that, and that. And I haven't used italic anywhere. So. Be very sparing on the fonts. Click add, that's it. If you go and then decide you're gonna use 10 other fonts, okay, and add all those, they're gonna add up quite quickly. So just be mindful when you are designing and sell it into the client what fonts you're using. Just pick two, maybe three, and just a couple of different weights because you don't want your site to load very fast. That was a long explanation for choose a font. Here we go, heading one is going to be, what we'll do is we'll style out all heading ones and they're all going to be public. Now, it didn't load. <laughs> Why didn't it load? Probably needs a refresh. So, refresh. Yes, please hold. Now let's see if it works. Heading one, typography, public sans. There it is there. You're welcome. Okay, and you'll find just the fonts that you've actually picked are in here. All right, and this one has to be black. There we go. Because I'm pulling from my, I'm gonna close it down, close it down. I'm pulling from my Figma file, which is extra bold. It's weird how they give them different names, um, you know, black, extra bold, or 900. They all mean the same thing, <laughs> big thick font, but there you go. So I'm gonna copy and paste the text out of this, and that is how you add fonts. All right, that is it, adding fonts to Webflow. Um, I'm gonna build it to make it look a lot more like this in the next video, but for the now, we've added fonts, job done. That, my friend, is the end of the video. Uh, but not the end of the course, uh, the video you just watched. Um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course.
Bye.